Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, uh, hopefully you're going to learn that, um, well, how to create a responsive website using media queries. Uh, it's easier than you think um, and it's very easy to get your head around and learn. So uh, just going to go straight into this. Oh, well, that's a couple of things I want to mention. Uh, obviously, I'm using a new text editor uh, because of the fact that... Um, there was a suggestion that um, I could do with zooming in on the text a bit more and Sublime Text um, 2 allows me to do this so that's why I'm using this uh, also a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel we've just hit 1000 subscribers uh, and that number is still rising so that's a big motivation for me um, and yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to talk about so let's just get straight into this um, so as you can see, uh, I've got my some styling set up in the head, which uh, can be ignored. It's just for appearance purposes. Uh, I've got the div ID, and it's got an ID of div. And um, obviously, as you can see up here, we've got small screen dot CSS, medium screen dot CSS, and large screen dot CSS. And they've all got pretty much all the same, uh, apart from the width. So this has got width of five hundred pixels, one thousand pixels and 1400 pixels so basically the way this works is we're going to add something into the html which is going to change which um style sheet to use so that um when the user's screen is a certain width it will change to small if it's a large then it changes large um so the way we're going to do this is as you can see i have the css file linked with the link href type and rel we're going to add something else to this which is media Okay, and we're going to type screen, and, and then we're going to open brackets, and do min width zero. Yeah, okay, that's that's all that's all there is to it. Now that's for the small screen dot CSS. So, so yeah, sorry. Uh, so what we're going to want to do? Copy that two times. Change where this is linked to. So we want to change this to medium screen dot CSS, and then this one to large screen.css now what we're going to do is these widths are going to be changed so the first one doesn't need to be changed for medium as you can see it's 1000 uh, pixels so we're going to do it uh, 1100 pixels so we're going to do 1100 pixels and then for large screen we'll do 1500 pixels okay so let's preview this as you can see, if we go ahead and reduce the width, this is currently using the large screen.css. Once we get down here, there you go, and it's now changed to the medium screen.css. If we go even further, it's going to change to the small screen.css. And it's really as simple as that. So as you can see, it's, it's responsive to the width. Okay. So all we've done there is just created multiple uh, style sheets and then depending on the user's width uh, assigned um, which style sheet to use using the media uh, element. So it's pretty simple. Uh, there is an alternative way of doing this and I'm going to show that in this video as well. I will be right back just to get everything sorted out for the next part. Be right back. Alright and we're back and um, in this second like part of this video I'm just going to go over the alternative way of using media queries um, uh, to make your uh, website responsive to the width of the user screen so instead of uh, applying the media to the link excuse me um, we're gonna add it to this uh, new style sheet we've got this is styles.css uh, is linked to this but we're going to add the media queries to the um, CSS instead of the HTML. So what we're going to do is we're going to do media, oh sorry, uh, at media screen and, and then open our brackets, min width, and we're going to make this a zero. And we're going to make the uh, divs width uh, 500 pixels. Okay, and now we're going to add another one and do media screen and and then we'll do min width again. And for this, we're going to do we're going to say when the screen gets to 1000 pixels, 
Oh. We're going to make the divs width 900 pixels. And the final one, we're going to do media screen and min width uh, 1000, uh, when the screen is 1400 pixels. We'll make it a width of 1,300 pixels. Uh, I've also spelt the width wrong up here. Right, okay, so before I go ahead and just preview this, um, what I want to do is... Um, basically uh, kind of explain it a little bit so you can get your head around this basically what we're saying here is when the um, the screen is a minimum width of zero we're going to assign a width of 500 to the div and then once the width uh, once the width of the browser for the user gets to 1000 pixels we're going to change that width of the div to 900 and then once the screen of the uh, the browser's width gets to 1400 we'll change the width to 1300 of the div so it, it's pretty simple uh, like the uh, previous one so let's go ahead and preview this so as you can see it's just going to work in the same way once we get down to about there there we go so as you can see it's responsive exactly like the exactly the way we did it with the link um, adding that uh, media into here but yeah, so it's pretty simple. Um, the I'll pop this code down in the description as well. Or if YouTube doesn't let me out, it probably won't. I'll stick it up on J JS Fiddle uh, for you to, to mess around with and take a look at. So um, yeah, thank you for watching uh, this tutorial. Uh, thank you for helping the channel reach 1,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next tutorial.